Hi everyone, welcome back to Bear With Me. Uh, last time we left it off, uh, Teddy Bear and Amber had been searching the house for Flint, her brother, who we seem to can't find yet. Uh, we did however find Rusty the Robot, who told us all about the things that are going on in Paper City. The fires and the Red Man and how there seems to have been a cover up. Uh, now he's asking about Amber. Um, we still can't find her brother. However, we did manage to fix a flashlight and then we've now crawled for a hole into Flint's room to find him. And it looks like the mugshot boys are in here. So we'll talk to them and see what's going on. Amber couldn't crawl through the hole with us because she's too big. So it's just Teddy Bear on his own. Let's go for it. Inspect everything. Just pants, neatly folded and thrown over the closet. I've got a sudden urge to play it on stage and destroy it over the drum kit. <gasps> level six sword. A level six sword. Hmm. It has higher damage than my gun. I'm more of a range guy myself. Maybe I can sell it at a shop. <laughs> well, grab it. I'll just sell this sword and buy some revives for later. I personally quite like the um, JRPGs. I might get some flack for that. but I like normal RPGs as well, but hey, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of Final Fantasy. I should tear them in case I need to make a rope to climb down the window. Storage space reserved for various miscellanea. An empty box. Just think of the possibilities. Ooh, one piss possibility. Cat trap. Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. It looks like a match in a small metal container. Is it? Did I get it right? Kinda looks like it. A book titled. Finding missing relatives for dummies. That's oddly specific. Hey, you're gonna need that. A book titled that. "Finding Missing Relatives for Dummies." That's oddly specific. No, rubbish. Look at that lamp, lamping around like there's no tomorrow. You go, lamp. Depicting colors contained by various forms and shapes. Is it a monkey? Roses in a field? An orange? I'm really bad at appreciating art. I can't tell what it is either. Kinda looks like lots of mini waterfalls. Someone, somewhere, put their soul and moderate effort into making this. And I hate it. Nothing a little paint thinner can't fix. <laughs> a bag of candy. I knew a girl named Candy once. Whatever happened to her? Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? An empty glass? It's the biggest mistake I've seen all day. That's what that is. You're okay, an alcoholic. It's a, um, a small paper box. A toy car, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in the car evaluation business. The size of this box is only matched by its inability to comprehend reality. A wise man once said, the windows are the eyes of a house. Well, this thing really stands out. Yeah, we'll have to find another way. I don't like pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. You're clearly going to need that red cloth. The weakest link in this whole construction. Maybe I could exploit that. Okay, I've got a feeling I know what to do there, but we'll talk to it's the mugshot drawers. ones first. I guess the logical thing to do here would be to search the drawers for clues, but I'm not going to do that. I have my reasons. Low lifes. I guess they are so used to police interrogations. Standing in front of bright lights is where they feel most at home. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. 
We didn't do it! And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it? It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> this is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer, although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk, although the two aren't mutually exclusive, see? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. I like the uh, lawyer-criminal the comparison there. Lawyers can be scumbags. Hmm. So, why are you here, exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus! How about you take a long walk down the shore pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Oh, I can't go for the, uh, classic. These guys are totally gangsters kind of thing with the whole, eh, yeah, see? Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? No, I'm just asking because I have these two tickets for Wuthering Heights on ice. Oh, it's just wonderful. The reviews are overwhelmingly positive. Shut up, John John. He's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Tell me what you know, and the next time the Reef King asks me about you two, I'll forget about your whereabouts. We sorted it out with the Shark Snoop. We started a nice little enterprise with them. See, me and John John here have a way with the tourists. The deal is to take them on a nice little tour around our beautiful city that ends in his gambling house. There are numerous attractive locations scattered throughout the city, but sometimes you just have to go that extra mile if you want to experience it the way the locals do. For instance, there's a lovely little deli store just off of Peril Street, halfway down to the harbor. Their madelines are to die for. Just pick a spot on their beautiful terrace and enjoy a good book <laughs> or a romantic evening with that special someone. Yeah, see? That's right, John John. Huh. I bet whatever they keep in their wallets, by the end of the day, the shark sends his goons to clean them out when they leave. Am I right? Well, yeah, but that's just his style, see? I bet it is. I have to admit I like the John John guy. <laughs> it's quite funny. He's clearly a lot more intellectual and eloquent than his uh, brother. 
Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure, and your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man? What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. <laughs> Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure, I can only imagine. What do you know about him? Not much, and the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. Wants to see it all burn, see? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one. Yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing, there you go. Now don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now, see? Sure. Right. So we got some information. Right, I've got the feeling that we can use level six sword on that bit of No. What do you mean no? Hmm. Right, let's try something else then. No. What? Hmm. What do we do? Check a book titled A Small Car on Top of Me The Life of a Book. I, um, what? What sort of literature is this? It looks highly cuttable. Is that a word? Cuttable? Oh, here we go. <laughs> The classic wrong kind of knife. Well, this thing really stands out. It kind of reminds me of that scene from. Uh, what's that film called? The Holocaust one? The Holocaust one? Schindler's List? Is it yeah. Schindler's List that has the little. The girl the in red. The two-tone colour thing going on. Yes. Yeah. Well done. You have <laughs> answered your own question. Hi guys, it's Andy by the way in the background. <laughs> My brain just went <laughs> and I just completely forgot what it was called. Yeah. Red cloth here kind of reminds me of the little girl from Shinder's List, how it sticks out of us all from. Anyway. I'll take it with me. <laughs> Maybe Millie can tell me something more about it. Let's go back to... Ah, Millie? Okay, so we need to go talk to the giraffe. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they, mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. <laughs> nice. 
Can we try to get to we'll the We'll have area? to find another way. Let's go. Let's give this cloth to uh, Millie. Millie. We found this piece of red cloth in Flint's room. We thought you could tell us something more about it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't recognize this particular fabric. But by the feel of it, it feels like a firefighter's uniform. I'm sorry, but that's as much as I can tell. A firefighter's uniform? This is getting stranger by the minute. What do you make of this doll? I honestly don't know, Ted. I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. I have to go find Mom and Dad. Whoever this red man is, he's done something to Flint. Please don't get your parents involved again. I suggest we head out to Paper City and see what we can dig up on this guy. We can go down to the docks and talk to CBG. He's bound to know something. Be careful, you two. Alright, let's go to the parents' room. It's the key. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. It's a fancy bed. Some paintings depicting life in a small rural community, autumn harvest and whatnot. I feel like all of these are connected in a way, like they share a story. I feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. Yeah, they kind of look like lily, lily pads. I feel like all of these are connected in a way, like they share a story. Some paintings depicting life in a small rural community, autumn harvest and whatnot. A painting of some guy, let's name him, Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't, but he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room, if he had any. For combing your hair, I like my hair more au naturel. You mean, you don't brush it? and just wear it whatever way it was when you woke up? Yep, that's the idea. Oh no, but... Oh, the knots! Oh no. <laughs> Some weird plant is sticking out of it. If you draw with it on your mom's evening dress, she'll get like, really, really mad. Like, volcanic eruption mad. I love wearing these around the house. They make me look taller. They're really uncomfortable, though. Yeah. Uh, high heels suck. That's all I'm gonna say on the map. This thing is so dusty. It's like a... It looks like the thing, um, to, uh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I don't know what you're about either. Mom and Dad's bed. Or the inside trampoline, as I like to call it. This lamp is pretty. So tall and lean and lacy on top. It's like a supermodel lamp. A chandelier. It's French for fancy lamp. It's a decorative curtain. <clears throat> it's so old it was used as a tunic by Caesar's accountant. It's one of my dad's cameras. It probably fell down by accident. Grab it. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. Where else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? It's plastic wrap for your clothes. For some reason. Keeps the dust off. It's my parents' closet. Also known as a cliched hiding spot when playing hide and seek. 
it's my parents' closet, also known as a cliched hiding spot when playing hide and seek. <laughs> yeah, I can't see anything else. Mm, let's go in the dark room. I love the fact that they have a dark room off the bedroom. That's interesting. Most people would have a, I don't know, an ensuite. Hug these parents. Ah. It's a combination lock safe. Let's try to guess the combination, Ted. How hard can it be? Is it one, two, three, four, five? Maybe it's zero, 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 zero. Or, or 74? One, zero, s Are you kidding me with this? Okay, you're right. I give up. Thankfully, we already know what it is. It was on the bottom of that Anubis statue. One there we go. There we go. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Hey, these are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. Nothing to see here. Move along now, Amber. Yes, sir. A book titled Developing for Dummies. I guess developers are dummies. This book is a good investment. I bet it's filled with boring landscapes. That's the only thing my dad takes pictures of. That's what you hope. Could be sexy pictures of your mom. Extremely breakable, especially when thrown or dropped against a hard surface. If I had a sharp piece of bamboo and some sugar water, I could lure fireflies inside and use them as a makeshift lamp. Ingenious! You know your house has electricity. There's been quite a few adventure games I've played that you actually have had to have done something like that. You had to catch your fireflies in order to light up a room. Guess this room isn't so dark after all. Just some canisters filled with some unidentified liquids. Duct tape! It's duct tape. It's used to tape ducks? Duct tape, duct tape, duct tape. Duct tape! I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. Duct tape. One of Deadpool's favorite things. Seems like it's empty. You can pour something in it, like water or fire. Used to pinch things. Used to develop photos. Then you hang them up and let them dry. Fascinating stuff. Indeed. It has measuring units on the side. Not that I would know anything about that. I'm ten after all. You'd think you'd know a little bit at least. <coughs> Big ass bottles. Mm. Big ass bottles. Step right up, folks. Witness the amazing bottle twins. My mom uses the same one to wash Ted in. What? That's not true. I have a shower in my office. Oh, you do, do you? Just a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. It's an empty image filled with, um, some silver dust. You put it in the machine over there, and then some other stuff. Then you get photos of my school recital. You put a film inside, and then it projects onto some piece of paper that you bathe, and you get photos. Nothing happened. There's something missing. That bit of film. There we go. And then use it. No hang on. There we go. There. Is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now, and then we get the photo. Use all the containers.
there. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. Oh, the red man. Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find Mom and Dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. We found a piece of his robe earlier and now this photo. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Oh, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie and see if she can tell us something about the fabric. Yeah, you're right. We have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so we wait. So, how have you been lately? <laughs> Oh god. Creepy. Now we're playing as him now. arms thought he moved slowly as well attack her. Oh, okay, you got the choice to attack or escape. I'm not attacking. No, go away. <laughs> I'm not a monster. shouldn't have made Rusty sleep. He would have seen him. Hopefully she's okay. Phew. Millie, are you okay? We heard a scream. Oh, thank goodness you're here. It was him, the red man. You just missed him. We found a photo. He's in my house, Millie. You just missed him. He must have heard you two coming, because he jumped out the window seconds before you came in. I can't imagine what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. It's okay, Millie. We're here now. You're safe. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. What about Millie? Are we going to leave her alone? What if the Red Man shows up? She'll be fine. Millie's a tough broad. She'll probably whack the hell out of him until he's had enough and surrenders to local authority. Millie, are you going to be fine on your own? Don't worry about me, little miss. I'll go and find some place to hide. You two better be careful out there. It's holding the window up. Let's take that bit away. I'll take it with me. With some proper crafting, it can be used to access things out of my reach. Oh, there we go. So we've pretty much been handed what we're going to need to get that key in the study. Be careful, you two. 
I could have attacked you. Oh, that would have been horrible. I'm sorry, but I'm just an all-round good person when it comes to adventure games. I don't like going the evil route. I can't use that. Are you even trying? Nope. Uh... Do what with it? Come on. This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. Hmm. Do what with it? Are you even trying? Do what with it? Hmm. We'll come back to that. Maybe I need some more stuff. door that leads to the attic. No, really, that's all there is to it. It leads to the attic, hence the name, the attic door. I'm kind of confused as to how that leads to the city. It's locked. Smash it. Are you even trying? Do what with it? I don't think so. You use them to move up and down the house. Fascinating stuff. Hmm. Maybe someone else in the parents' room. I'm pretty sure I got everything. You never know. Come on. So we need some way of getting into the attic. We need to get that key. Hang on a minute. Maybe the, ah, maybe the maybe that rope. Get back in there. Hmm. Let's see if these guys are gonna get new to say. Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You too remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I remember my first job. I got a job helping out at the local library after school. I was never much of a bookworm, but I would just sit there among the books and smell the air, see? That old book smell still lingers to this day. I would sit there on a banister way past the end of my shift, admiring all the people there, the scholars, the academics. I guess they were a reminder of all the things I could be someday, see? Then they had to lock up and the janitors would come and just toss me out back into a dumpster. Aww. Okay, so there's nothing here. So what do we need? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, 
Let's go look at the dog. Another photo. Sword. Duct tape. We obviously need to tape something to the duct tape. Do what with it? Do what with it? I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think so. Use this everything. won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. Are you even trying? No, I'm just seeing if anything works. I don't think so. I don't think so. I can't use that. I want the tree. I can't use that. Duh. Let me need to wake up Rusty. No, it's still asleep. Okay. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we need to try and get these jangly things. We need the key to do that. Which is in the study. We need something to get the uh, get the key down. Are you even trying? I don't think so. To, I think we need to cut something. I'm not sure what though. Maybe something in the back room? in my room. Oh, there we go. It's a small nail. It must have fallen from the window. I'll just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. There we go. So we know what to do now. Nail in wood. I don't think so. What? I can't use that. I don't think so. I can't use that. I can't use that. I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe we use the nail as a cutter? Maybe? Which I'm plenty of games where you've had to get diamonds and then use the cut glass, which I always think is hilarious. Let's see if this works. Yeah. That actually worked? You just unlocked something with an old rusty nail? How convenient is that? That's just lazy writing. Don't be such a negative <laughs> Nancy, Snoop. Of course it worked. My genius knows no bounds. It hangs on these chain thingies. I have no idea what that's for. Some clock stuff, I bet. Yay, I got the hook thingy. I bet this will be super useful, like, really soon. Yep, because now... That this there. won't hold on its own. And duct tape. There, now Yay. I can have higher aspirations. Get the key. There we go. I'll take this key with me, just in case. It's always good to have keys around. Excellent. I'm guessing that's now going to open the attic. We shall find out. I guess I may need to use the hook on that though. Okay. We're in. Millie, Rust, and 
and the mugshots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder, was it to keep everyone at bay until they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot Brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Wise guys, reasoning with them is a fruitless effort. However, the little information I've got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous, I mean, more than usual. We've found some clues around the house that could help us find Flint, but so far, everything is leading down. I've examined the evidence myself, but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate that the last case in my career would be like this. Everyone knows the story. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement, but then the lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing, but the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot, fade to black. We had a run-in with the main suspect, the man in the red hood. He gave Millie quite a scare. Who knows what would have happened if we had gotten there just a little late. It was getting more obvious now. He's the one responsible for Flint's disappearance. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Gator City. I have an informant there that could know some things, and that's our best bet at the moment. Red, it seems, wants to get to Amber, so I figured I'd draw him out. Best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk, and we'll find out what happened to Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late. I like how in the videos he's, uh, he's got his hat on, but he doesn't when he's walking around the game. He should have his hat! He looks more like a detective with his hat on. Oh well. <laughs> uh, well, after all that, we still haven't found a brother, but we now know what the red man looks like. Creepy as hell, but at least we managed to save Millie. I didn't really want to attack her as him, that would have been horrible. <laughs> right, I think we'll leave it there for now. Uh, we'll pick it up next time. So, take care everyone, and I'll see you again later. Bye!